The world we live in today is fraught with complex geopolitical dynamics, but one of the most powerful and dangerous elements that shapes these dynamics is nuclear weapons. With the potential to alter the course of history in a heartbeat, nuclear arms have become both a tool of deterrence and an existential threat. But how many countries actually have them, and how many are pushing the boundaries of nuclear capabilities? Let's take a deep dive into the nuclear powers of the world, explore their arsenals, and discuss the implications of such power in our increasingly unstable world. Buckle up, this is a ride through the shadowy, high-stakes world of nuclear armament. And to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form and says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. It all started with the United States, the country that forever changed the course of history with the devastating force of the atomic bomb. The US was the first to develop nuclear weapons during World War II under the Manhattan Project, and it was the first to ever use them in combat, dropping bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. Since then, the US has built up a massive nuclear arsenal with 3,700 warheads ready for deployment. These weapons were not just a symbol of American power, but also a dark reminder of the destructive potential potential humans could harness. Right behind the US, we have Russia, a country that was part of the Soviet Union until its dissolution in 1991. But don't let that fool you, the Russian Federation inherited the Soviet Union's nuclear stockpile, making it the second largest nuclear power in the world. Today, Russia holds a staggering 4,309 warheads, the largest nuclear arsenal globally, built on decades of arms development in the Cold War. The sheer size of Russia's stockpile is not just a measure of its military power. It's a clear reminder of the geopolitical and military rivalry that has shaped modern history. Then there's China, the nuclear powerhouse of the East. While not as large as Russia or the US, China's nuclear stockpile is not to be underestimated, with 600 warheads at its disposal. China's nuclear ambitions have been a source of growing concern for its neighbors, particularly in the context of its increasing global influence and military assertiveness in regions like the South China Sea and Taiwan. With an arsenal that's steadily growing, China represents a growing nuclear force in a world that's already on edge. France and the United Kingdom are the other members of the original nuclear club, each possessing formidable nuclear capabilities. France, with 290 warheads, maintains a nuclear deterrent as part of its defense strategy, while the UK has around 225 nuclear warheads in its arsenal. Both nations, while not as large as Russia or the US, play key roles in global security, and their nuclear capabilities are a crucial element in the balance of power within NATO and beyond. The nuclear arms race isn't just confined to the five original powers. Enter India and Pakistan, two nuclear armed nations with a complex and volatile history. India, which conducted its first nuclear test in 1974, now possesses 180 warheads, a stockpile built up over decades of tension with its neighbors. Pakistan. Pakistan, feeling the pressure of India's nuclear capabilities, followed suit and conducted its own nuclear tests in 1998. Today, Pakistan has approximately 170 warheads, making it a formidable nuclear force in South Asia. The rivalry between India and Pakistan remains one of the world's most dangerous flashpoints, with both countries holding nuclear weapons that could escalate any conflict in the region to catastrophic levels. Then there's Israel, a country that has never openly confirmed its nuclear capabilities, but is widely believed to possess around 90 nuclear warheads. Israel's nuclear ambiguity is a deliberate strategy. The country has long maintained a policy of nuclear opacity, neither confirming nor denying the existence of its nuclear arsenal, all while using the threat of its nuclear capabilities as a powerful deterrent in the Middle East. The situation with Israel is unique in that its nuclear program is shrouded in secrecy, adding an extra layer of tension to an already volatile region. The nuclear standoff with North Korea has become one of the most volatile and unpredictable elements of international relations. Despite being one of the most secretive and isolated countries in the world, North Korea has managed to develop its own nuclear arsenal, with an estimated 50 war warheads as of the latest estimates. Since its first nuclear test in 2006, North Korea has repeatedly defied global sanctions and warnings, conducting a series of missile tests and nuclear explosions. The world watches with bated breath as North Korea's weapons program continues to grow, with no clear end in sight to the regime's defiant stance against international demands for disarmament.
Iran has long been suspected of pursuing nuclear weapons, despite its repeated claims that its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes only. While there is no definitive proof that Iran has developed nuclear weapons, its nuclear program has sparked global concern. In recent years, Iran has enriched uranium to up to 60% purity, very close to the weapons grade level of 90%. While US intelligence agencies have stated that Iran is not currently pursuing nuclear weapons, its enrichment activities have raised alarms across the globe. The future of Iran's nuclear ambitions remains a critical issue for international diplomacy, particularly with the country's strained relations with the West. The presence of nuclear weapons in these countries raises profound questions about the future of global security. While nuclear deterrence has long been a strategy for preventing large-scale conflict by ensuring that no one country dares to strike first due to the threat of mutually assured destruction, the very existence of these weapons has the potential to make global conflict catastrophic. Every country with nuclear arms holds the fate of billions of people in their hands, and any misstep could trigger a nuclear disaster unlike anything humanity has ever seen. In regions like South Asia, where the tensions between India and Pakistan remain high, the fear is that a small conflict could escalate into a full-scale nuclear war. Similarly, North Korea's development of nuclear weapons, coupled with its unpredictable leadership, has become a source of anxiety for global security experts. But the story isn't just about the number of weapons each country possesses. The Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty NPT, which aims to limit the spread of nuclear weapons and encourage disarmament, is a focal point of global nuclear diplomacy. The five original nuclear powers, the US, Russia, China, France, and the UK, are signatories of the NPT, but countries like India, Pakistan, and North Korea have openly defied it. Meanwhile, Israel has remained silent on its nuclear capabilities, refusing to confirm or deny its stockpile. As these nations continue to expand and develop their nuclear arsenals, the world is left to grapple with the delicate balance of power and the risks associated with nuclear proliferation. As we move further into the 21st century, the nuclear landscape is changing. The rise of new nuclear powers such as North Korea and the potential for an Iranian nuclear program is a cause for concern. The global nuclear arms race is far from over, and the fear is that more countries could soon join the ranks of nuclear armed nations. In the face of these developments, the world must ask itself, how can we prevent nuclear war? How can we ensure that the horrors of the past never repeat themselves? With the stakes so high, the pressure on world leaders to negotiate and prevent further nuclear proliferation has never been more intense. The presence of over 13,000 nuclear warheads around the world today is a ticking time bomb. While the likelihood of global nuclear war remains low, the risks associated with the existence of these weapons are as high as they've ever been. What are your thoughts on nuclear proliferation? Do you think the world is doing enough to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons? Let's start a conversation below, and don't forget to share your opinions on the balance between nuclear power and global security. And remember, nuclear weapons are a controversial and often divisive topic, so let's keep the discussion respectful. Let's hear your thoughts, but let's dig into this crucial issue together.